Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so you're here to see how to unlock look for treasure for the uh, South Park Tower Defense game. I'll tell you how. Uh, first off, thanks goes to Big Daddy Dirthog and Samurai Kadage. All right, so what you're gonna want to do is go to challenge level uh, one, which is Labyrinth. You're gonna want to do this on Insane. You're gonna want to play as Timmy, BB, Craig, and Pip. Uh, I'll get into that in a second. So starting off first, you're gonna want to build a, I think it's called a refrigerator. It's it's the freeze tower. It'll turn them into ice blocks. Um, so move everybody to the first block. Start building. There's your refrigerator, block one. Over on second one, put the uh, shock orb, I think it's called. It's the one that electrocutes. Do a freeze. Do a shock. Do another freeze. Um, I can't remember. Did I put another one? Yeah, I guess I did. All right, so yeah, basically you're just going to have like six blocks, I think. As for the last block, don't put anything besides maybe a wall. Uh, if you do anything else, it could ruin your chance of getting enough money to uh, unlock the achievement, like get your points up to high enough. So really, what you're gonna want to do, f pretty much, is focus on using Pip because he's the hardest one to get his ability up. So I notice when you play as a specific character, you're able to throw the snowball faster, which basically levels up your meter faster than if you're not using them and just letting them auto attack. So you're gonna be using Pip here. Um, Basically, your whole goal is just to make sure they don't get over to the right side. Don't panic if they do start getting over there. Just work on getting your ability. As you can see, like Pip's just staying right along with him, just working up his meter. Um, as for Craig, though, you're going to want to use his time control abilities every once in a while. Like, see how I just used it there? That's going to allow your other characters to build their meter faster as well, because they'll have more chance to hit more enemies. So, like I said, just keep Pip right up there with him. Just keep building up his meter. And, uh, yeah, just go crazy on them once you do have a, a bunch of them on screen. See how I go back to the spawn? Now you're going to want to switch over to BB and have her suck in all the money that you just obtained from killing all those guys. So, it's pretty straightforward once you get the hang of it. It will take you a couple tries, maybe, to get this down right. Uh, I was working on different strategies, like, I was trying different characters, I was trying, like, upgrading one turret but not upgrading the rest of the turrets, but sacrificing a turret. Um, I was trying a bunch of different methods, but Big Daddy, Dirt Bagger, Dirt Thingy, Dirt Hog, I mean, sorry about that. Um, he had a really good strategy, and I thank him a lot for that. Um, I couldn't really find any other strategies besides on that post on X360A. Uh, yeah, Samurai Kadaj, he also helped me. He said, like, uh, he didn't put two turrets at the very end of the level, which I kind of did a little alteration version of that. I put a snow wall at the back there instead of... Um, going going all out and putting turrets back there. So that does save you a little bit of money, which does give you points, so that's pretty good. So yeah, basically just keep nailing everything. Uh, Timmy and Pip's abilities are pretty much the same. They both go really fast, they have attack, like area of effect, and they hit everything around you. So they're really good for clearing mobs out. The only problem though with Pip is, like I said, it takes a little bit longer. Um, if you do want to switch over to Timmy though and just build up his meter, that's very helpful too. Like if Pip's near the end of his meter and he's about to get his ability, just switch over to Timmy and just build up his a little bit. As you can see, I sucked in the money again. This is very key because if you don't suck in the money, you're not going to get enough uh, coins. Now, I think I did get around 200 coins. Um, you're going to definitely want to have 200 or more. Uh, the last couple tries, I was I was under 200, and I was like 5,000 points away, man. And it was it was so close that I just it wasn't a good feeling, man. I just I felt like smacking something, but I held it in and I worked for my achievement. So yeah, it's I don't know what else can I really say, guys. You're watching the video, clearing everything out. Um, one thing I was reading though. Uh, if you hit your left bumper, it sends out the next wave of enemies. What you should do is you should wait for the other waves to get up into the middle, then do that. Then work your way from right to left. That way you can kill the guys just coming out of the spawn point, too. That's pretty helpful. But really, though, you're really going to want to have your abilities ready for, I think, wave 8. Wave 8 or wave... Yeah, somewhere around there. Because you'll be fighting, um... You'll be fighting demons, I think? And they're they're pretty hard to kill. Uh, they they move pretty fast, and your your snowballs just don't cut it. So you're definitely gonna want to have Pip or uh, Pip, 
Craig or Timmy ready because you can slow down, build up your meter, or you can use your abilities and kill them all. The last wave is pretty tricky too. Um, but really, the ultimate strategy of this, though, the key, the key factor in all this. Normally, when you get to the last wave and you have your your Pip or your Timmy ready, and you just blow through every enemy, you don't want to do that. What you want to do is you want to kill every enemy except for maybe one or two. That way, you can switch over to BB, suck in all the money you just got before ending the wave, and then that opens up the the coin screen where you can get all your money. But yeah, Timmy, man, it says that his attack's only a medium attack, but really, that thing is strong as hell, man. Maybe it's talking about medium range, but I could have said medium damage. Alright, see how I did that there? I actually got Timmy killed there, which, don't freak out if you did. Uh, at this point, you're probably not going to get his meter bill anyways. So, yeah, just keep focusing on those guys. Oh yeah, Pip is really well well balanced, by the way. Um. He has a really high charge meter, which does a lot of damage to these guys. So if you fully charge that and hit him, like, it, it could possibly two hit him usually. So just keep focusing on those last guys before they get off the screen. Started panicking a little bit here. I thought like, what if he did get away? I was actually surprised that I was able to get all those coins on the last screen. Normally I would I would get all the coins except for maybe a couple that were just like over in the corner. But yeah, like watch this shit. I was actually really good at this. They, but then again they were pretty straightforward. Usually they're kinda scattered everywhere, like a couple up top, couple bottom, corners and stuff. I think I only missed one there. But yeah, look at this score. I worked for this score, guys, and I deserved it. I think. At least yeah, I think I did. But damn. Be careful though, Ben, because seriously, I, I ended up like 5,000, couple thousand points away from this achievement for so long. But here's Platinum Metal. It is a bitch of an achievement, and it's only 5G, but just wait for this delayed achievement to pop up. I, th I was freaking out because I thought I didn't get it there, but just give it some time, and where is it? It's coming, it's coming. There it is. Look for treasure. Alright, well, I hope this guide was informative for you guys. Uh, thanks to the guys on X360A. I will end my video here.